Hi everyone, I'm Reza and this is the video number 6 of Prism Spasticity online tutorial. In this video, we will go over how one can generate the macrostructure for Prism Spasticity using Dream 3D from an eBSD file. First, there are some files that I need to introduce before we can start using Dream 3D. If you go over to Google and type Prisms Plasticity GitHub and click on it and click click on the first link, it will be the Prism's Plasticity GitHub package. So if you go to the training materials and you go to the pre-processing HCP, there is a file here, prisms underline pipeline underline hcp.json. This file is actually the pipelines we prepared for Dream 3D package. So you can post-process your eBSD data and generate the input microstructures for your Prism Plasticity simulation. So I assume that you have that pipeline. Okay, let's go back to the Dream 3D itself. So let's open the pipeline we prepared for you. Session 6, Prisms Pipeline HCP. It might ask for input files. You can just cancel those. Okay, so here... This is the pipeline we prepared to generate the Prism Spasticity macrostructure input files. So first you need to make sure that you have the crystal structure, in this case magnesium, which is HCP correct. Okay, then you, let me adjust this a little bit. So here it will be the information related to the grain size distribution and morphology that we don't change that here. And finally, in the next step, you need to go and click on the ODF to input the orientation files. So we are choosing bulk from file. So here we need to select the, let me adjust this time over, okay. So we need to select our EBSD file here, but you need to do some modification. Here we are going to explain what are those modifications are. So let's open our EBSD file using a text editor. In our case, we are using Notepad++. So this is how our EBSD file look like. It's basically information for each point, including the orientations, X and Y, phase name, grain ID, etc. But the only three columns we are interested right now are the columns one to three in our file, which are orientation of points in radians, which are represented in all our angles. So we need to modify this file to make it prepared for the Dream 3D pipeline. So let's open that using Microsoft Excel. So what you need to do is you need to remove all these rows. You need to delete the first column and you need to remove all the columns except three of those which are related to orientations. So delete this. Then you need to add one row and put here angle count. This is important. Angle count. So you need to put the total number of orientations you have here, which is 588,638. And then you need to add two more columns because these points are equally important and weighted. You just add one and you make this going all the way through. Okay. Now you should save as this file and the name will be EBSD data modified and then save it. Okay. If you want to make sure that you're following all the details correctly, we have a file inside the Prism Spasticity package and training pre-processing HCP, which is mgdata.txt. This file has a similar format as the one we just modified. Let's go back to the Dream 3D. Then we make sure that the values were in radians, so we're fine. It's the orientations are in older and at delimited with tab. So we just need to select the parameters, the one that we just modified and load the data. So first thing, you can see the pole figures of this sample here. So this magnesium sample, it's extruded. So you can see that the extrusion axis is coming out of this 0001 pole figure. So it has a weak basal texture. So the next thing you need to change is if you go to initialize synthetic volume, these dimensions define 
your macrostructure resolution. So dimensions 32 by 32 by 32 will generate a macrostructure which is 32 by 32 by 32 and is voxelized. The resolution defines how many grains you will have in your sample. So the only other things that you need to change is you need to direct the output files to the correct address. So in our case, we direct it to session 6 and we direct this one to session 6 and we direct this one to session 6. That's it. Now you can start the pipeline. So after you start the pipeline, the samples start to be generated. So it might take some time depending on the size of the sample. So we'll come back after this is finished. So the Dream 3D is done with sample generation. Let's go to the folder to see what inputs did Dream 3D generate. Okay, we opened the folder which includes the generated input files. So you can see it generates four outputs, grain ID orientations, magnesium XDMF, and magnesium Dream 3D. So these two files are the file we require for prism spaces. So let's open grain ID. So this grain ID perfectly created for prism spasticity is 32 by 32 by 32 and you have 20 lines header. That's all the information you need to know. The next one is orientation. So if you open the orientations, it perfectly generates for you the orientations in Rodriguez space as prism spasticity requires. So that's it. We're done. From now, you can actually go one step further and visualize the generated macro structure using Paraview. So let's do that. So in Paraview, we want to open this magnesium XDMF file. So let's open Paraview and let's open the magnesium XDMF and apply. So you need to make this to surface with edges and make this to feature ID. That's it. You can see your 32 by 32 by 32 input microstructure. If you want to actually simulate this using fired element, you at least need 32 by 32 by 32 FE mesh to precisely capture this microstructure. If you use a coarser mesh, it will interpolate grain ID for larger elements. But if you use finer mesh, you're still fine. In this session, I showed you how you can generate macrostructure from your eBSD file using a synthetic macrostructure generator of Dream 3D through the pipeline we developed for Prism Spasticity. In the next session, I'll go over some of the more advanced features of Prism Spasticity. Thank you.